Let me show you how I made this poster using Kittle with just two fonts. Let's do this. Are you a designer, a lettering artist, or just someone who wants to create some cool graphics? Well, Kittle just keeps getting better and better, and in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create this poster step by step using Kittle's new features. But just before getting into it, here's a reminder that you can get Kittle free or get 25% of all monthly and yearly premium plans using my code JIMBOYT. You can find the link in the description below. Hi, I'm Jimbo and I'm a lettering artist and a graphic designer and I've been doing the same thing for over 10 years now. You know what I love the most about design is a killer composition mixing both lettering and illustration and Kittle is hands down the easiest and most effective platform that I've actually used. In today's design, I've actually wanted to challenge myself a little and I'm using just two fonts to create the whole thing. One font is gonna be for my main text, which I'm gonna add some effects to. And then the other font is gonna allow me to create all these little illustrations that you see around. These are glyphs and they are amazing to use because you can use the same effects that you're using in your font. I'm also gonna show you my tricks to make a multi-layered font. And then I'm gonna find a couple mockups to maybe show to the client or maybe put it in your online store. All right, so let's get to it. Okay, so let's do this. So here we are at Kittle. Remember that there is so many templates to choose from, so you could start from there. But today I'm just going to create a new project. The canvas that I'm going to choose is going to be a square one and I'm going to go here and select millimeters. Now here for the width, I'm going to do a 300 times 300 millimeters canvas and the resolution is going to be minimum 300. Now that we have it, let's tap on create. Now, let me show you a little bit of an overview of what we have in Kittle. This left bar is the most important of it all. So here we have my project. So if we tap on it, you're going to see what we did in the past. Then you have templates here that you can choose and start your designs from them. So you have a base. Now here you have text options. You can add either a pre-made composition like this one's here or just a normal headline or a paragraph and you have the elements tab where you'll find most of the elements you need for your designs then you have your brand kit which allows you to save certain aspects of your designs so you can use later on then you have your uploads tab which has all the ai images that you've generated in the past and also images that you imported to the app now here you have stock photos that you can also use for your designs. And then we're almost done here. You have your textures here. You can add either a texture to your whole design or add a background. And now here we have all Kittle's new AI options from image generation to even a design generation tool. Okay, so let's get started with the design. Go to the upload step and upload the PNG that I'm giving you today for free. You can find it in the description below. Here, I've dragged it from my uploads to my artboard. And if you go to the right side of your screen, you're gonna see the image tools. Now here, I'm gonna go to the image vectorizer because I want to get this color palette automatically so you can follow along the tutorial. So I'm just gonna tap six colors and vectorize image. Now here, we automatically generated the color palette so you can see it down here you see all the colors that i'm gonna use today so we don't have to sample them one by one so here i'm just gonna drag this image out of my main artboard and i'm gonna start the design tap on text on the left side and we're gonna add a simple headline if you have a keyboard you can also tap t on your keyboard to add text now here I'm going to type on your weird and I'm going to drag it right at the center of my composition and I'm going to make it bigger. Perfect. Now it's time to change the typography. I found a typography that is perfect for the concept of this design that I had in mind today. So go to typefaces and type Bryce and you're going to find it here. And I say it's perfect for today's design because since I'm talking about owning your own weird, it feels like you have to own your own quirks and little things that make you who you are, right? And this typography has a lot of styles in one, so it looks like a lettering piece. 
And as I said in the beginning, I'm a lettering artist and I love this kind of style. So when I found this typography in Kittle, I fell in love with it. Now let's first change the text size. So go right here and put 165. And for the spacing in between words, I'm just gonna put zero. Perfect. Now, the cool thing about this typography is that there is no lowercase because all lowercase will look like a capital letter. So you can see here that you can alternate from one to the other and you're gonna keep the same height for all of them, right? So here I'm exchanging some letters for the capitals and then some of them for the lowercase. Perfect, now we have our own combination of letters here that looks pretty cool and just using one font. Now we're gonna start adding effects and I'm gonna tell you a cool way to stack your effects so it looks like an actual lettering piece. So go here to color first and I'm gonna tap on it and I'm gonna change it to this second color that we have here on the right, which is this pastel orange. And now I tap here on the border and I'm gonna select this black that I have, that it's not pure black, it's almost, it's almost pure black, but it's not. And then the border weight is gonna be four. Now let's go down here and I'm gonna tap on text shading. I'm gonna choose the third effect, which is called block shadow. And here in offset, I'm gonna put eight. And then as an angle, you can play with it as well, but as an angle here, I'm gonna put minus 111 so minus one 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 perfect now i'm gonna change the color of this shading and it's gonna be also this black the same as the outline perfect now let's go down here to text decoration and as well you can play and choose whatever text decoration you want, but I'm gonna choose the fourth one and I'm gonna change the color into pink. And now this starts looking like something already. Great, now with the text selected, go to your layers panel at the bottom right of the screen. And then here you're gonna see that it says own your own weird. Now here I'm gonna change the layers name by tapping twice and it's gonna be letters top. Now by having this selected, I'm gonna do a copy paste and now we have this letter stop twice. So the first one, I'm just gonna lock it and unsee it, so tap on this I as well. Now go to the second one and I'm gonna rename it and I'm gonna put letters middle. This layer is gonna be my second block shadow. So what I'm gonna do here is to change every color that I have on the layer and I'm gonna put the same orange. Again, you can use any color that you want, but I thought this orange kinda looks modern and I kinda liked it, so just turn everything in orange, just like this. Now go back to your layers panel. Now here I have to figure out why this layer went outside the artboard. So I'm just gonna drag it inside again, right there, just under letter stop, perfect. And now here, well, I'm just gonna reveal my first letters by tapping on this I. Now select the letters middle and with your keyboard just bring down this block shadow. Now remember that here we're following the same angle of that block shadow that we had before. And here I'm zooming in just to make sure that it continues perfectly. Great. Okay, now go to the letters middle and again copy paste. And the one here at the bottom, I'm just gonna rename it. Sorry, let's do this again and I'm gonna put letters shadow. Now this is gonna be a drop shadow of our entire stack 3D letters. So I'm gonna go here to the colors as well and I'm gonna change the colors into this dark blue. The same as we did for the second layer, but this time everything in blue. And I'm gonna also lock my letters middle so I don't touch it. Now here you can start playing with the offset and this is important to understand where your light source is coming from. So now imagine that this is real text on real life and there is the sun located to the left or to the right or at the bottom of the letters. So this is the shadow that your 3D block is gonna do, right? 
So now here I've selected a 18 offset, something like that. And then the angle, I kind of like a minus 53 degrees. But here again, you can experiment and just do the angle that you want. Now here, let's place it perfectly. So I'm just going to zoom in here and I'm going to place it perfectly again. So they meet at that little, you see, at that exact corner right here. So I'm just going to move it again. So it meets perfectly there. Nice. Awesome. So now we have pretty much our final result, but the tutorial is not over yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and unlock everything and center everything in the middle. Do you remember the text decoration that we did? Well, I want it to be individually for each letter. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to go to the letter stop and duplicate it two times. So copy paste and paste. I'm hiding two of the layers and then in one, I'm just going to erase your and weird and I'm just going to leave own. And I'm going to now change the name of the layer and it's going to be called own. Now here, I'm going to lock this one up and then go to the second of these layers and I'm just going to leave your. Now I'm going to zoom in and make sure that your is where I want it to be. And now you see that the effect is just applied to one word. Otherwise, the effect was applied to the whole composition. See, we could have done this individually for each word and make the 3D part of each word and stuff, but I think it would have been way more complicated with way more layers. So it's better if we create our stack letters first, and then we just need to separate the first component and that's it. Now go to change the name into your. And finally, I'm going to get the last of the layers and I'm going to put weird. Now, I'm doing the same as we did before, but with the word weird, zoom in, make sure that it aligns perfectly right there. Let's do it a bit more. And that's pretty much it. Now let's reveal own and your. And here I'm just making sure that the order is good. It's always important to keep your layers in order, even though sometimes I'm really bad at it. Okay, so now that we have all this, I'm going to go ahead and change the background color. You can see here that this is the color that I'm going to use. So I'm going to go to layers and once inside, go to the artboard, go to background. And then here you see the color and just select this lighter blue. Perfect. Now we have pretty much everything done. I just need to put some illustrations. Right in between I was preparing this tutorial, Kittle released a new tool, which is pretty cool, which is this one here with the basic shapes. So now you can have basic shapes and change some of the properties that they have. So you can change here. Let's try it out. It's the first time that I tried, but you see here you can change the radius of our star, for example. And obviously you can rotate it or just make it bigger, or smaller. Here you can also change what would be the border. Just as we did with our letters and also add a shadow. I'm not going to use this tool today, but I'm going to explore it for tutorials in the future. Here I'm going to duplicate the word own and I'm going to create illustrations based out of letter forms. Usually I would create illustrations using either the elements panel or I would import some of my illustrations to Kittle or even use AI to generate some ideas. If you want to explore that, I'm leaving you here with a tutorial that I made in the past. But let's go back to the tutorial. Now here I'm going to go ahead and change the typeface. So I'm going to go to search and I'm going to put B R I and that's going to be this one right here. I discovered this by mistake like a few months ago and I realized that there is so many glyphs included. Glyphs are those alternative characters or characters that make the typefaces better. The more glyphs, the more complete the typefaces are, right? So this one has so many glyphs that I was super impressed. And then I thought to myself, I can use these glyphs 
and make them into illustrations and still keep all those text properties that Kittle offers, right? So here I found those faces and I was like, I could use either illustrations or I could just use these faces that are glyphs, but ultimately they are illustrations. So I'm kind of like cheating the system here and I'm gonna use the same properties that I have in my typography, right? So here I want you to start exploring glyphs from this typeface or another one if you want. And I'm gonna now play, you know, with the border weight, so it has to be the same as the typography. But here you can play along with different properties. Like for example, if we go down here, we could, I don't know, choose... Look, if you go here to text shading, for example, we could maybe make a bigger offset, you know, and make something cool out of that. Or maybe play with different angles as well. Now I want you to finish the poster by adding a lot of glyphs with similar properties so you get something like I'm getting here. Now remember that you have all the steps to do so because we've done this in the typography before. Now before we finish the tutorial I'm gonna go ahead and show you how the textures work if you want to add some textures. I think I will not use it for this case because I want something modern and I don't want something grunge. But I wanted to show you the difference in between textures and backgrounds. A friend of mine the other day was using Kittle and was confused because the texture was applied to your whole piece. And yes, it is like this. So now you can choose either textures that are going to be applied to your whole piece or just backgrounds. And then the backgrounds are just going to be applied to your background. Remember that both textures and backgrounds, you can change the modes. So if you were to choose, for example, this one that is kind of brownish and you change the mode into something like multiply for example or overlay you're gonna get the same color as you had the background but you're gonna have this nice effect right so you can choose any texture that you want or background just remember what I'm telling you textures is for the whole piece and backgrounds are just for the background so here I'm just gonna step back so command Z because I'm not gonna use any texture today but the last thing that I'm gonna do is go to mocap up here on the right side and choose a mocap. Remember that Kittle's mocaps are super unique and super easy to use. And if you go here to the models, they actually do their own photo shoots. So all these are unique to Kittle. So you can actually adapt it right here. For example, this top that I really like. And you can see here that the tool is just perfect because it gives you the shadows and the wrinkles that the t-shirt has and it looks super, super realistic and professional. So if you have a POD business, you can upload this to your page. Or if you're doing this for a client, well, I think your client will be really happy to see how this looks in real life before it's printed. And that's it, that's our final poster using just two fonts for both letters and illustrations. I hope that you could see how powerful Kittle is and how easy it is to actually bring your ideas to life using the platform. Now, if you're curious to try it out, remember that you can get a free account and explore all of these features by yourself. And if you want to upgrade, you can also get 25% all monthly and yearly premium plans using my code JIMBOYT. You can find the link in the description below. I hope you're having an awesome and a creative day. I'll see you next time. Bye.